Recently, I received a ton of messages from professionals on LinkedIn willing to learn Databricks without spending much. First, you need to know that Databricks is hosted on major cloud platforms such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. To get started with Databricks on GCP, all you need is a Gmail account and then you need to sign up for the GCP. That is not covered in this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started on Databricks using the GCP. So let's get started. This is my console.cloud.gov.com and I'm primarily using my Gmail account. Now I'm going to first create a project which is really important. So I want to click on this select a project. Now if you have any projects created already, you're going to see them listed here. So to create a new project, just click on this new project and then give your project a meaningful name and then provide your location. Once you're done, click on create. But for me, I'm going to use my already established project Cornerstone Analytics. Select that. And then I can come to the start menu and set for Databricks. We have the platform for data, analytics, and AI workloads. Click on that. For the first time, you're not going to see manage on provider. You're going to see this subscribe. And once you click on the subscribe and provide some details, then you're going to see manage on provider. So in my case, I've got the trial active. So click on manage on provider. And this is going to tell me, hey, you are leaving Google GCP. And I'm going to click on OK, which is yes. And a new tab is opened. And I'm going to continue with my Gmail account to sign it. Now, you might be prompted to sign several times. That's fine. So we're going to land on this account.gcp.databricks.com and then we can see we have the account console we have the workspaces which allows you to configure workspace settings that contains your notebook libraries queries and workflows and then we have the catalog we have the usage we have the users and groups and then we have the cloud resources and settings so we want to create a workspace the way we can create our notebook we can create you know sql queries and so on and so forth so click on that and then we can see I've got no workspace because this is the first time I'm using it. And I'm going to click on this create workspace. And then we're going to see this page to create a workspace. And I'm going to provide a name. I'm going to call this one demo 101. And I'm going to choose a region. Let me just choose um, East US 1. And then we're going to provide the Google Cloud project ID. Now, to get your project ID, I'm going to come back here. Now, if you're familiar with the GCP, your project ID is around this part of the URL. So this is basically my project ID, all right? But to find it, if you're new, you can just always come back to this, your project, and they can see Cornerstone Analytics, exactly what I've got in the URL. So I can copy, or I can even copy from the URL, which is much easier for me. Control C and come back here and Control V. We're going to see this note that is worth paying attention to. So we have, as part of creating this workspace, two Google Cloud storage buckets will be provisioned in your GCS project. This bucket will host the data that is built in the external Databricks file system, storage, and internal DBFS storage, respectively. Please review the access controls to this bucket in the GCP console. And then we have this, please ensure that the project chosen has the minimum resource quotas to run your jobs and clusters. So once this has been sorted out, I'm going to scroll down and click on save. And then the workspace will be provisioned. Now, we may probably not see it. Just click on refresh of your URL. And then we're going to see the new workspace. And then we can see the status as provisioning. So once this has been provisioned, we're going to see the status as active. And then we can go ahead and do some other stuff. The workspace is now running. So we can even create catalog, but I'm going to click on this kebab. Now the kebab allows you to view and to delete if there's a need to delete. So I'm going to click on this view. Alternatively, I can click on the demo 101. And then I can see the configuration. Again, we have that information. Two buckets is going to be provisioned. And then we can see the Google Cloud project ID. We can see the region. And then we have the meta store. And we can even see the URL, the workspace titles as running, the workspace title message, and so on and so forth. And then if you want to actually control or grant permissions, you can come to the permissions and then you have add permissions and so on and so forth. So click on this configuration and we can click on this kebab again. If you want to delete, you can always delete. That is much straightforward. So we can go on and open the newly created workspace. 
and then we're going to land on the databricks platform so we can go ahead and create our compute we can create our serverless sql warehouse and so on and so forth so i'm going to click on this catalog first and i'm going to see the demo 101 catalog so i'm going to click on this to expand so this is within my organization so we can even create some other things like the ski bars and we can load tables and so on so before i do that i'm going to come to the sql warehouses and then I'm going to enable or start this serverless compute. The serverless compute is now ready. So I'm going to come to catalog and then I can see the demo 101 again. Click on that and I can create a schema. So I'm going to call this one sales schema. And then I'm going to choose the storage location, which is the demo 101. And then we can see the GCS. And then we have the data breaks and then we have the other parts of the unit catalog click on create and we can see the sales schema has been created and then we don't have any data so i can go on just as i've done in previous videos click on this and then i can create a table i'm going to click on this browse similar to what we have in microsoft azure and i'm going to dump this sales 2024 dot csv and i can see the detail i can see the name of the catalog that's going to be housed the name of the schema and the name of the table let me just call this one sales and then we can see the preview of the data we can see the columns we can see so many things now you can even come click on this drop down and then you can exclude some column if you don't want to see them for example if i don't want to see the month column i can click on this and i can just exclude and this is going to be excluded from what's going to be loaded into the schema of that unit catalog. Let's say I want to actually exclude the year column also. I can exclude. Or let's say I want to include the year. I can click back and include the column. So we have quite a lot of flexibility around this environment. You can even double click and rename the column. It is absolutely easy. So once you're done with whatever transformation you want to do, click on create table. And then we can see the sales table is now ready. Now I can see there is something here. I'm gonna click on this bar and I can rename. So this is easier. So just get rid of that underscore and then click on save. So that's basically how we can rename the table. And then we can see that here. So I can come to the SQL editor and I can start querying the data with the serverless compute. So I can write select star from, and I'm gonna call the demo 101 okay this is not correct select so demo 101 unity catalog and i want to take the sales schema and i want to refer to the sales table and i can run the code and then we have the result so this is introduction on how we can get started on using the databricks or google cloud platform i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like comment and follow me for more videos Thank you for watching. Bye for now.